Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Audhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Was salatu was salamu ala Rasulillahi amma ba'd. In 1968, a group of some six young men gathered together, bond themselves, real commitment, sincerity, and brotherhood. They wanted to learn their faith together. And in their own way, they wanted to share. Remember 1968, there was hardly telephones, let alone internet. As we are talking here, right now, people from all over the world, 50 years later, people from all over the world are listening what we are saying right now. And if you think that that is amazing, there is something called artificial intelligence. That as I was told, that this is something that has already been developed but not yet commercialized. So 50 years later, here we are in an age where they can open a piece of your head, put in a chip, and download the whole Quran in your brains, and overnight you become a Hafizul Quran. That sounds weird. Artificial intelligence tells us that you can command things to do, like park your car, which is something we all would like to have. So 50 years after, here we are in a new age, and what began as a halakatu ahbab, or a study circle of beloved ones, now turned into this great work by the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we can only say alhamdulillah. And all praises are for Allah, the one whose blessing cause humble and sincere efforts to grow into a mountain. My dear brothers and sisters, this year as we commemorate our golden jubilee, let us be reminded that our celebration is not much about festivity, but a solemn occasion to pause and to look at this 50-year journey and what is it that keeps us going. At the same time, we look ahead at this mountain that we must climb and that we must still climb. And this mountain is becoming steeper and steeper as the days go by. So in the few moments that I have, I would like to reflect on the strength of ICNA, our charter and our values. ICNA, like many other organizations and groups, we are dedicated to protecting the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be part of securing justice for humanity. Our golden jubilee this year, therefore, gives a great excuse to introduce ourselves of some of our charter, our values. Charter is very simple. Our charter is very, very simple. It is based on the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, that no one is worthy of worship but Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. But it is how Ikna interprets this kalima that makes a difference. It is how we interpret this Kalima for the past 50 years that has given us our sense of direction and guidance to serve Allah as shown to us by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I would like to say that we are coming into a phase of intellectual 
confusion where people stop at la ilaha illallah and they do not say the other part at least they might say it in a chant or in a, a song or on the wall but in reality they are trying to stifle this last part because once you can put down that last part of the kali second part of the kalima then it opens the door for every Tom, Dick, and Harry to want to interpret the Quran the way they want to interpret. And there is no Islam except by understanding Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa role in explaining what la ilaha illallah Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa really means. So no PhD, no university graduate, no scientist, no one can go to the Book of Allah without understanding the Prophet ﷺ and his role in explaining the Qur'an. Brothers and sisters, at the heart of our relationship with Allah is also our relationship with our fellow humans. Hence, it is not by accident that our 50th anniversary, we choose the theme, Jazakallah, we choose the theme 50 years sharing Islam, serving humanity. It is with this kalima and understanding it that connects us with our Creator, to our fellow human beings, and to the nature around us. Peace, harmony, and goodness form the basis of what we do. We do not strive for power and glory. Rather, we hope to build by our values, our programs, virtuous character and good deeds. Allah says, Tilka darul akhiratu naj'aluha lilladheena la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wa la fasada wa la aqibatu lil muttaqeen. We grant the home in the hereafter to those who do not seek superiority on the earth or spread destruction and disorder. The happy ending is awarded to those who are virtuous. Our values, such as being shuhada ala nas, witnesses unto mankind, that makes mankind includes everyone and draws no distinction on the basis of race, faith, gender, language, ethnicity, nationality, or social class. My dear brothers and sisters, it is our values that teaches us that the, our diversity is no more than the wisdom of our Creator for us to know each other and not to compete and put down each other. As Allah says, Ya ayyuhannas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaakum Inna Allah alimun khabir, O mankind. Indeed, we have created you from a single male and female and made you into peoples, different peoples and tribes that you get to know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is all-knowing and well-acquainted. Thus, our journey in this life ex is experienced not as individual, but one which carries a collective and conscious sense of responsibility contributing to the community and the society at large. For ikna, such faith values do not confine us to be behind closed doors, but rather prepare us how to be contributors of the wider community. In conclusion, throughout our 50 years of journey, we have had to look continuously at our charter and our values, for they are our guiding lights. While we cons constantly rethink the tools, our systems, our response to challenges, but our character and values, our charter, what we have set about, remain uncompromised. These values are not to be compromised or bartered for, for in the name of having a bigger crowd, in the name of more money, in the name of fame, or 
more following of us. They are the pillars upon which sincere work is done. And on the day of judgment, it is not how big the crowd is, rather how sincere the heart is. When we are faced with challenges, it is these core values and our mission that keeps us going. They are encapsulated in one of the shortest surahs of the Quran, which the Sahabas used to read as they part with one another. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim, bismillahi rahmanir rahim, wal asr. Inna al insan la fi khusr, illa al ladina amanu wa amilu salihat, wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. By time. Indeed, man is in loss, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advise each other to truth and advise each other to patience. So the Sahaba, when they parted with each other, they will remind themselves of these four things. Form faith in God without wavering. Constant good and righteous deeds as shown to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upholding truth wherever it is and whatever it takes and persevere with patience and never giving up in the face of difficulty. There is no complete faith. There is no complete faith until we do serve humanity, knowing that it is a commandment from Allah. So as time goes by more and more, ICNA is fully engaged in social work and social justice. It is our charter. It is our values. At this point in time, my dear brothers and sisters, as we cross this major milestone of our 50th year, we can only humble ourselves and thank Allah for having us to serve as the others have served. There is nothing to boast or brag about, only to look back and see what can be done better in a more challenging world. As Muslims, we learn to make our tomorrow better than our today. If the 50 years was good, then the next 50 years should be better. We ask Allah that the next 50 years will be filled with his divine help and compassion. And may he help us all to make this world a better place. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.